My name's Jake Zender from Split Rock Music, Truckee, California. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hi, my name's Jake Zender. I own Split Rock Music in downtown Truckee, California. <laughs> for taking some time with us, Jake, and talking Welcome. to us about your store. Um, yeah, so we've known you for a while. How, can you tell us about your personal musical journey? When did you start playing? How many instruments do you play? Well, I started playing. I started uh, taking private music lessons when I was six years old. I uh, started with the violin, moved to trumpet, and then saxophone for about six years, and I started playing guitar when I was... 12 and I've been playing ever since. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, well. So, Jake, <laughs> when did uh, you decide to open Split Rock? So, I opened in this location uh, in 2014, um, and uh, we've been operating here uh, ever since. Um, the name Split Rock uh, I came up with because there's, there's a bouldering rock that people use. Uh, on the other side of town called Split Rock, and I wanted the name to be geographically significant, but not so obvious uh, to be like, you know, Truckee Music Store or something. Like that. That's awesome. Yeah. And you have the best sign in town. That, uh, that logo was kicked out of the park by uh, Meg Aribe at uh, Small Pond Studios. The theory behind that, the idea I had behind that was that like every kid or adult has some sort of musical dream inside them, a little seed. Uh, and um, it's our job to like water that seed and to grow it and to help like it, it grow and, and break apart whatever musical block you might have. You know, sometimes when people are young, they're told that they can't do something. They're told that, that they uh, aren't good at music. Yeah. And um, maybe, maybe by a person in a position of authority and um, it's our job to kind of break that away and um, and let their musical dream grow. I love that. I love your sign. Thank you. I love where you got your name from, and I love your uh, philosophy on that. There it is. Love it. Yes, that was an awesome answer. Right. Uh, Look at okay. that. Um, oh, what about uh, between the notes? Did that place can. Oh, so we Sorry. don't want to talk about you that. You can cut one. that part out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Edit. <laughs> no, that was a dark time. Dark, uh, okay. dark time. Yeah. That place. No. It was just such a negative building. It was right next yeah. to Napa. And, and there was no walking crap. traffic. It was facing north. The f and like the feng shui sway was all bad. Yeah. Like here, like the energy kind of flows in one door, out the other. There's a little bit of an energy sticking point in the back room, you know. But like that place was like facing north and then a cinder block wall. So it was just like cold and. Mm. Dark. Mm. What do you think of the music scene here in Truckee? You know, for a smaller town, like if you took a 14 to 18,000 person town, whatever we are now, it's hard to keep track of because it's, it's, growing. it's growing so quickly. But say you were in the Central Valley and you had like a 14,000 person town, there would be no music scene even close to what we have here because of um, one, it being in the mountains and, and having so many tourists coming to town that are always looking to go out and do something. And then two, like being a, in the mountains, it just draws creative people, people that are trying to kind of get away from the big city and they, you know, want to play. And so a lot of artists live up here. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of great bands um, that either are completely local and play here in town or are based out of here and tour regionally or nationally. Um, on a normal week or yeah. you know th with things the way they are right now the music scene in Truckee is terrible yeah this summer is going to be sad oh. so as far as um i know you're in a band jake what's your band's name let's shout it out uh our band is called everyday outlaw we Happy play you. outlaw country music original and covers uh and we play mostly you know, within about a three-hour circle of here, so three hours each direction, and then home. We all have, uh, we all have kids and, and other jobs, so yeah. we can't hop in an old van and drive around the country for months on end. What is your favorite venue in Truckee? In that you like to play it. 
In Truckee, I mean, I, I, I like playing at Alibi. Yeah. Ale Works, it's, it's fun. We've had some really good nights there. Um, the Truckee Regional Amphitheater is a blast, too, though. Yeah. Um, that, that, I it, bet. It's We're going to miss that this summer. It's big and it's fun, and there's, you know, a lot of people show up. It can be a little, a little strange because there's that planter box between you and the audience so you're so you're you know 20 or so feet away yeah. from the crowd which is a little odd but uh, it's a lot of fun but they got the dance floor they do have the dance floor uh, we play the trucky rodeo every year that's that's a lot of fun too yeah. with your store here i consider this like a real music store mm. you know there's a lot of big box store music stores chains that sort of thing right. down in other cities around here but they just don't have the authenticity and you know it, it's a challenge feel. these days to because i grew up in davis california and there was a small mu music store downtown called davis music and it was like a safe place for me to go when there was turmoil in other parts of my life either at home or at school and the guys down there they just kind of mentored me and um you know, they helped teach me music, but they taught me about life as well. And um, back then, there was no, you know, not to sound too old, but I am. Uh, yeah. There was no internet. There were, you know, there was, you know, very few ways to, like, learn music other than getting it from somebody else or from a printed piece of music. Um, so nowadays, like, I kind of wanted to recreate that vibe, except in, a, in this world we live in now, like... You know, being a retail store is very difficult because people will, will warehouse you or come in and just want to touch and feel stuff, use your advice, and then they buy it online. And you've um, successfully um, made it into a place where people want to hang out, want to come to. And you can also, if you don't have something here, you just order it. Right. right? Yeah, so. there's, there's a lot of uh, special ordering that we do for yeah. folks. Because, um, you know... I've noticed that when a lot of times when you go to a bigger, like a, I don't even want to say it, but guitar center or, you know, a place like that. Um, yeah, they they don't necessarily, they kind of shame you for, for not knowing everything about music or everything about instruments or whatever, which is curious to me because the whole point of coming into a store is, is you don't necessarily know what you want or you need and you need advice and so our job is is to you know whatever your goal is whatever you want to do musically um it's cool you know and so we're we're here to help out and see see you uh through your journey again back to back to the logo the idea is like from seed all the all the way to like the fruition of your musical yeah. dream so anything along the way we're here for you I Okay, so did you want to show us around? Sure. Um, Let's do a little tour. I know. We have a humidically controlled room for instruments with, uh, well, obviously some instruments, um, amplifiers, things that we sell, use, um, repair. There's kind of a little bit of everything going on. Um, and then back here, I built... Now, this was all just one big orange room when we got here, so we built all this stuff. There's six different rooms in here with with uh, instruments, pianos. So this room we teach piano in. Um, back here we do um, brass and woodwind lessons, and then um, this room... We do, uh, yeah, other lessons, piano. Right now, we're doing some in-person lessons, but a lot of people are more comfortable doing them remotely. So we have um, the video gear set up to do remote lessons through Zoom. And uh, in here, what are we doing here? More guitar. And we've got the beat tools on the wall in here. Yeah, we do good, uh, the quick... See, guitar, bass, drums, piano, violin, brass, woodwind, banjo, ukulele, vocal. Um, pretty much all of the normal instruments. Like, we, we draw the line at bagpipe. You don't uh, teach We don't teach bagpipe. Wow. No, bagpipe. <laughs> um, and then a lot of the double reeded instruments like oboe and bassoon. We just don't have enough people wanting to learn them uh, to, 
to have an instructor in for that. But anything else? Oh, I should throw it out there, but we also do uh, kids rock band classes Wednesday and Thursday night. So once somebody has been playing long enough that they can play some chords in time, maybe a couple little lead licks or hold a rhythm on their drums, we like to pair them together with other kids uh, to get them playing in a group setting. So. And that's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, I like that. Especially when they get things together well enough to like yeah. go out and play gigs. We do harmonica. So if you want to get Ryan's your if you want to get your Bob Dylan starter pack going, this is the place to do it. <laughs> Play gigs. Because you have some person. great musicians here. There's some good ones. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have ten different instructors. Um, they're all awesome, um, and uh, they all play out in various projects um, Are most throughout of the community. Instructors in yeah, they all are in bands in one in one way or another. Anywhere from like the Reno Jazz Orchestra to uh, Dead Winter Carpenters, the Sex Tones. There's, you know, so they all play out in in live settings. There's just different yeah. options. You know, so much know. for showing us around, Jay. Thanks for having and, us. And or um, me. Thanks for having me. We're loyal customers and we'll be here many many more years. I appreciate so, it. Yeah, you guys yeah. have been great over the years. Yeah. Um, Watching your son grow up, he's holding the camera right now. A few years yeah. ago, the camera would have been down that here. That was, yeah, that was, <laughs> he was right there in the guitar room. We mm -hmm. had that. I appreciate you All coming right. by. Yeah. All right, we'd shake, but. Well, we're yeah. good.